What's going on, World Wide Web? It is your boy, Trey Libra. Today is Monday, September 19th, 2016. And before we get into the vlog, I want to say, I want to apologize if you hear my phone go off. Twittering, beeping, bells, and I'm going to tell you why. Today's Monday. And um, <clears throat> back in, what year was it? Hmm, was it 2014? Was it 2013? Anyways, some time ago, around this time, September-ish, um, I was uh, parked near a studio. There was a drive-by. There was a drive-by in front of the recording studio. Um, can't give you the, the details, whatever. Well, my car, this car that I'm sitting in right now, my car happened to get shot up. It was like two or three bullets that hit my car. One hit the tire, burst the tire, and one hit the middle. Punctured a few things. Uh, AC compressor and some whole other stuff, whatever. And uh, I had to take the prime example. Please pardon that. I uh, had to take the car to Kia to get it repaired and fixed and stuff. Damages was over uh, $2,500. Um, but anyways, there was a drive-by. Yes. And my car was at the wrong place at the wrong time. So therefore, time went on fast forward to current day I've been summoned by the state of Florida to appear in court basically subpoena and I've been getting phone calls I've been getting letters saying that I have to appear in court 8 a.m. on Monday September 19th to be a witness and to testify about the situation now I didn't see the guy I don't know what the guy looked like damn I don't even know the guy's name but um, his target was intended for somebody else I can't mention that person's name and I won't mention that person's name but once again my car just happened to be at the wrong place at the wrong time so they give me another call which was last week and um, they tell me uh, disregard the letters and the phone call previous to now because you don't have to come in at 8 a.m. to testify at court. But we want you on standby. You are on standby. Meaning, you don't have to come in at 8. But anytime after 8 up until 5 p.m. Because the courts, I believe, close at 5 p.m. Something like that. You have to have your phone by you. And be able to receive our phone call when we call you and to let you know that you are to appear. So basically they give me an hour window to get there. So if they call me at nine, I need to be there at 10 to the court in Clearwater. So I had to arrange, uh, I had to arrange it to where someone take Azrael to school and somebody possibly pick up the older two boys, Uriah and Malachi from their school. Cause uh, Azrael goes to a different school than Uriah and Malachi. Uriah and Malachi are in elementary and Azrael is in pre-K, uh, VPK. So that is what's going on with me right now. I am killing time, so to say. Killing time waiting to be called to appear in court. So I have to have my phone on because if I don't answer that phone or I don't catch that phone in time, and I don't appear in court, I can be in deep, deep, deep trouble. Although I haven't been personally subpoenaed with the letter saying, hey, you are to appear in court, da 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 da, I've basically been um, picking up the phone calls. And when the lady called me originally, I was like, hey, look, I'm almost never home because I'm always on the go. Um, is there a way that you can send me a letter with the details so that I can show up and not be in trouble or whatever, whatever? She did that, but uh, of course she left out all the details and I had to call them back and get the courtroom number, the floor, and all that stuff. The address of the court, which is like right in front of the, um, the jail, Pinellas County uh, Jail. But yeah, 
that's what your boy is up to today. Sorry if I didn't explain that well enough. Uh, my diction is broken, uh, bad grammar and all that stuff, but uh, please forgive me. So that's what I am up to today. Um, and rewind, this past Saturday and Sunday I had music video shoots. Saturday I had two music video shoots with the same artist, Silas. Uh, of West Palm Beach, Miami, Florida area. Uh, he came up here to St. Petersburg. We knocked him out in like five, six hours. Um, it was great. Sun beat me up really bad. Uh, so I'll rewind later on in this vlog clips of that so you can see me on the video shoot. I didn't have any help that day, so I, that day, so I had to film myself. Um, and I had to go back to Thona Tosasa, if I'm pronouncing that right, to do some uh, more shooting with Samuel Hooks, aka the drummer. Um, I edited his music video and I sent them to him and there were some parts that he wasn't pleased with, so therefore we had to get some B-roll to kind of like insert or cover up some of those parts. So I am still waiting for the prosecutor to give me a call. Um, I'm at a uh, Countryside Mall. This is really awkward. It's really difficult and it's really awkward. Like, I think the laws need to change because it's, it's not, for one, it's not fair to me on how I have to revamp my day and my schedule. Um, I just think it's really, really unfair uh, and very, very unprofessional. Um, Let's say I was going across a bridge, they didn't have any service, and the prosecutor or the assistant of the prosecutor gave me a phone call. And the phone call got dropped. I didn't see the phone even ringing. Well now, if I don't receive that phone call or get that phone call, I'm accountable for not showing up and I could possibly get in trouble and be charged with attempt of court. I believe that's what the charge is. So I just really think that the way that they um, subpoena people, especially like this, I've never heard of or um, on call or standby. I've never heard of that until this past week when the assistant of the prosecutor called me. So I think that's really kind of messed up and very unprofessional. So I just received some huge news, and it's big news. The prosecution, the prosecutor's assistant just called me and told me that the case had been postponed to a later date. Woo. That's like, that's big for me because I can go on with my life for another month, meaning um, I can pack up and leave here and I can go home and carry on. Yeah, I can edit my videos with ease now. It's uh, only, I'm actually shocked. I received this news before 11 o'clock. It's like 10.55 now, so I can go get my older kids from school. Um, my younger kid, Azriel, um, I already got somebody set to pick him up, so I'm gonna go ahead and carry on, carry out with that, and just, you know, perhaps get him from them and then take him with me to go get my older kids. So, yeah, that's what's going on. And it's crazy because I'm like halfway into converting these foot, these uh, clips. So, yeah, thank God for that phone call. Um, it was er earlier than expected. So, all right, so that's what's going on, y'all. Anyways, um, I guess I can close out the vlog too because I'm sure I got enough footage, especially if I'm gonna include the footage from Saturday and Sunday in here, all right? Um, Y'all know what to do, man. Check the description box. Your grace and mercy is what I
take her around and go pay her some of her bills and stuff like that. So I kind of want to capture Uriah's reaction. Hopefully he's not too sick to where we can get Before I get there, yes, there's got to be some hurdles. This ain't a race for the swift, but it's moving like some turtles. The